Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to day six of the 2011 Thanksgiving cards with the Cricut. Today I decided to change it up a little bit and rather than doing the gatefold card that we've been doing with the previous videos, I decided to use a card from one of my Cricut cartridges which is the Art Philosophy cartridge. This is what the card looks like. And as you can see, it is still a simple, quick, and easy card. So come on and join me. And I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started on card number six. And this time, our card is not going to be a gatefold card but it's still going to be a simple and quick and easy card. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and used the Art Philosophy cartridge to make our card. And the card that I'm making is on page 62, and it looks like this. So I've cut that out to be five and a half inches which looks like this and I've gone ahead and inked my edges using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink the gathered twigs so now if you were cutting um, I did this on my gypsy so that is going to be key number 42 on your gypsy so let's go ahead and go to that cartridge So this is key 42, and it'll look like this, and you're going to cut it at five and a half inches. So the other thing that I've done is I've also gone ahead and cut out the decorative layer, which is this one right here, and it's on page 62, and it is key number 42. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead... And if you're going to do this on your gypsy, you're going to hit the layer button or decorative layer button, which is right here. And then you'll just hit key 42 again and you'll get this. Now, I wanted to make this sort of like a frame. So what I did to cut this out was before I cut it, I once again used my gypsy but I took off the aspect ratio button, which is right here, and I made my height three and a half inches to start off with, and then I just kept squeezing it in until it fit inside the card. And then I did the same thing. Um, I just kept squeezing in for the width until I could get it to fit. So it ended up being the height is... 3.38 and the width is 4.77 so now on if you don't have the gypsy and you're gonna go ahead and cut this out I would cut it at either three and a quarter inches or maybe three and a half you'll kind of have to do um, sometimes what I do is take scrap paper and just cut it out two different ways until I get it to fit the way I want. So this is going to go line up right here. And this paper that I've cut this out with is from the K & Company Tim Coffee Paper Pack. And this was just a scrap piece that I had left over from one of the other cards. And I'm going to go ahead and get what side that was so it was one of the cards I believe it was day two that looked like this using this paper and so all I did was take the scrap that was left over and just went ahead and cut it out and flipped it over and cut it so let's go ahead and add that and 
I'm going to go ahead and use my Tombow for this. So we want to get some tape on this other side. In each area. So I'm just going to go along here. And my Tombow is out, so let me get a refill. Okay, everybody, so I'm now back with my refill, and I'm ready to continue going ahead and adding my tape. Okay, so I've got my tape all the way around, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my card, and then I want to go ahead and line this up. And then lay it down. So now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and put in my in, uh, greeting inside my frame. And this greeting is from the Inka Dinka Do Thanks for Every Day Everything's stamp set. And it looks like this. Sorry for the glare. So I've already got my stamp lined up on my Fisker's stamping pad. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just add some ink. So I'm going to ink up my stamp. Make sure I get enough ink because I want to make sure I get good coverage. So, I think what I'm going to do is actually take my ink pad, because the sponge pad I was using wasn't working. I wasn't getting enough ink on there for me. So, I think I've got enough ink on there now that it should be ready to stamp down. So, I'm going to pull out my pad and go ahead and lay my card on my pad. And then we're just ready to go ahead and stamp. So I just want to make sure I get that ink off of there so it doesn't land end up on my card. And then I'm just going to kind of line this up. And then I'm going to press down. And there you have it. What it says is gratitude is an action word. So that's the outside sentiment. Now the other thing that I have cut out is I did say I was going to keep it simple and on this card I decided to add a couple of flowers. Now I made these flowers using the Art Philosophy cartridge and they are located on page let's see what page it is 68 and it looks like this so now the key number on your gypsy is key 48 so I've cut one out at two inches and I've cut one out at one and a half inches so let's go ahead and I'll show you what that looks like so we're just gonna go ahead and the flowers are located under the font. So you'll hit your font. And then you'll go ahead and press key 48. And let me do that real quick. So this is the one that I cut out. And then I used my quilling tool to put the flower together. The other thing that I did is, is after I, before I put the flower together, um, after it was cut out, I took the stamp from the pocket silhouette stamp set that's by Stampin' Up and my gathered twigs ink and I just stamped out these little flowers all across before I rolled the flower together. 
So they ended up coming out like so. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my quick drying glue and add these flowers right down here at the bottom. So that's the front of the card. Now for the inside sentiment, what I'm going to put on the inside is from the Harvest Expression stamp set that's by Inka Dinka Do. And the stamp that I'm going to use is the Happy Thanksgiving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the side for just a minute just so I can go ahead and line up my Happy Thanksgiving on my stamping press and press down. And that's just how I adhere it to the stamping press. Then I'm going to um, go ahead and once again ink up my stamp. And I'm using the gather twigs again. And I'm going to get some ink on my stamp. And I'm going to make sure I close that up because I don't want it to dry out. And then I'm going to bring over my card and then just flip this over. And we're going to add the greeting in the inside. So I'm just eyeballing this. And I probably should have not put the flowers on there first because I need the card to lay flat. But we're going to go ahead and press this down anyway. And get a good even coverage. And then raise up. And there you have it. You have the happy Thanksgiving. So that's it. That's my card for the Thanksgiving cards with the Cricut 2011. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget to come back for the last day of the series, which will be day seven. Bye.